Okay, sometimes it's really hard to have a, you know, a good time on a party bus when you're busting for the toilet. So this is the second one we're working on. Uh, I'm gonna put another toilet in. It's been a great success, you know, for all these wine tours and stuff because it just takes that edge off and everyone can in enjoy themselves. I'll show you what we're doing today. A lot more difficult than the first one, but we, yeah, it's, it's gonna come together. All right, last time we put the um, toilet, the toilet was above, had a big cavity under here with a massive, you know, door on it, you know, so we could get in there, put the tanks and work on it. This time he's gone, oh, there's a cavity behind there, that's where we're gonna put the tank. So he's been, oh, mate, this is gonna be a difficult job. But I'll show you inside uh, at the toilet setup, and then I'll show you underneath and also the tank that we're gonna stick in. All right, so here's inside the party bus. You can see the toilet waiting to be installed. And so we just got this, um, yeah, cupboard here that we're, well, you know, they've actually made this time, so there's a lot more room. Okay, you see in here that we've got the marking out with the toilet. The reason we put the, um, the blue stuff down is so we can mark it, because it's pretty dark, and then we've got a basin that's uh, going over that wall there, but we'll sort that out later. And if you can see in there, that's, the, um, that's where we want to install the tank later on. Okay, I'll just show you under the bus now of um, where, we, where we going under. So this is where the, um, the tank's gonna sit under here. That's the hole for the toilet there. It's gonna, it's a big bracket. It's gonna hold it in place. And then we've got another aluminum brace here. And then we're gonna stick another one across across this area to, to stabilize it all up. And then we'll put the waste on that as well. So yeah, pretty difficult to get to, but it's got um, air suspension, this bus, so very comfortable, but also it uh, jacks it nice and, jacks it up nice and high for us. Okay, this is the 100 liter tank, so a bit of a mishmash of fittings, but it's the only way we could make it work because we didn't really have access to the top here. So it's got the cleaning port, port and then um, this is for the basin waste. The toilet's gonna go in the top here. At the bottom, we've installed another um, port here that we're gonna put the, um, you know, the, the valve on to, to dump it, the dump valve that we dump it into the sewer, you know, when it's, when it's full up after the night. So we just gotta get that up in there. And then we got access through the top of it, just inside the batteries here. Hopefully we can feed it all through there. Okay, all sorted. Wouldn't say it was so enjoyable, but we got it sorted. It was a very difficult job, but um, it's great when you find a solution and you implement it and it works. I'll just show you how it's all worked out here. Okay. So here's the, um, the pump. Uh, we've got shore flow pump this time. Um, very quiet to run. Um, here's your I think it's 110 litre uh, water tank here that we've locked into the floor. Um, I haven't, you know, I've just connected it up uh, lot loosely, the, loosely, I should say, the um, auto electrician's gonna do it. But I've also put a tap just over here, you can see. Um, so it's just a quarter turn, just for, you know, washing your hands after you are finished or, you know, if someone, you know, wants to wash something out. So, yes, yeah, you can see how quiet the pump is. It's really, really good, these, these shore flow. These are, these are the ones that we, most of the time we put in the caravans and stuff, like the, you know, the JCOs and the, the Starcraft, sort of the high-end ones as well. Okay, I'll just show you inside too. Okay, so the toilet's all connected. How you flush it, you just got your foot down the bottom here. And it pumps away, so pretty cool. Also got a little basin here, you know, just to turn it on so you can wash your hands. Flushes it out quite nicely. So yeah, it's all good. Um, nice to have it all connected. And you can see, you can't even see the pipes really that go down into the ground there, because they're all black. But that'll be a great addition to the bus. Okay, so the holding tank is under here, like behind this this uh, whole the whole cavity behind here. So we, we've had to sort of push it in and, and you know put it up there and then make up some aluminium brackets that we've you know tied to the, the the frame of the bus, screwed them in there, glued it, and so that that's all hold up with a big bracket that goes around. So that's a big holding tank. And as, as you can see underneath, I'll show you. There's a the dump valve there that they just got to pull um, and then dump it you know into the sewer when they're finished. Okay, so there it is, all done. Toilet, basin, water tank, holding tank, the whole deal. So it's a, it's a great addition to the, to the limo bus. So if you see these, these beasts out on the road, know that they're having fun and none of the customers are busting, which is awesome. Great time. And um, see me on the road, give them a toot. So we've got a large workshop. Now many years ago, I worked as a plumber at a company called Haitian Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld, because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches, bushes, or just to su support them. 
I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. So if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan or you think there might be a gas leak or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.